Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are going to understand why explosions occur in the electrostatic precipitator (ESP). We will discuss in detailed discussion AS given below. First topic: Why explosion occurs in ESP. Second topic: What are the ESP explosion risk factors? Third topic: Types of the explosion in ESP. Fourth topic: How is an explosion of ESP possible? Fifth topic: How can lower the chance of an ESP explosion? Next, we are going to understand why explosions occur in the electrostatic precipitator (ESP). We will discuss in detailed discussion AS given below. Point number one. When combustible material and oxygen are available in the amounts and proportions required to enable combustion, along with an ignition source, a fire or explosion may result. Precipitators are designed to have either a low oxygen content or a low flammable content in the gas stream. Point number two: the excessive combustibles can be lint from coal dust from a boiler at startup, fuel-rich operation over an extended period of time. or during unstable operation where there is the possibility of collection of explosive gases and unburnt fuel the next point number 3 the excessive oxygen can come from cracks or openings in the ductwork or from the heated equipment or purge air system or leakages in the inspection doors or casing leakages to the precipitator sparks within the precipitator could ignite volatile gases and carbon carry over resulting in an explosion or fire that would harm the internal components of the precipitator next we are going to understand what are the esp explosion risk factors we will discuss in detailed discussion as given below risk factor 1 presence of carbon monoxide hydrocarbon or combustible dust and the presence of oxygen when combustible material and oxygen are available in the amounts and proportions required to enable combustion along with an ignition source a fire or explosion may result risk factor 2 source of ignition heavy spark and arc within the precipitator short circuit of field collecting plates and discharge electrodes risk factor 3 ESP leakage or air ingress presence of oxygen the excessive oxygen can come from cracks or openings in the ductwork from the heated equipment or purge air system or opening in the inspection doors or casing leakages to the precipitator next we will look at the type of the explosions in the esp we will discuss in detailed discussion as given below two possible explosions may happen in esp which will be mentioned below first possibility of the explosions as carbon monoxide explosions second possibility of the explosions as dust explosions or fire Next, we will look at the carbon monoxide explosions in the ESP. We will discuss in detailed discussion AS given below. Point number 1. When the amount of carbon monoxide (CO) gas in the system is greater than 2%, an ESP explosion may occur. If the combustion process is not completed, CO gas will still be present. Next, point number 2. When oxygen and combustible material are present in excess due to incomplete combustion which can produce potentially deadly levels of carbon monoxide CO an explosion may result Next point number 3 When there is sufficient oxygen present and CO gas will exist if the combustion is incomplete Therefore when energizing the ESP it being the source of ignition it can result in an ESP explosion Next, 
We will look at the dust explosions or fire in the ESP. We will discuss in detailed discussion AS given below. Point number 1. In the event of a boiler malfunction that could allow volatile gases or heavy carbon carryover to enter the precipitator. Sparks within the precipitator could ignite volatile gases and carbon carryover, resulting in an explosion or fire that would harm the internal components of the precipitator. Next, understand the circumstances of a dust explosion. Point number 1. A combustible dust, such as carbon particles. Point number 2. A sufficient concentration of dust is suspended in the air, and oxygen is present. Point number 3. A source of ignition, sparks within the precipitator could ignite volatile gases and carbon carryover, resulting in an explosion or fire that would harm the internal components of the precipitator. Next, we will look at the how is an explosion of ESP happens in the ESP. We will discuss in detailed discussion AS given below. Point number 1. ESP explosions can occur, when the amount of carbon monoxide, CO, gas in the system is greater than 2%. If the combustion process is not completed, CO gas will still be present. Point number 2. When oxygen and combustible material are present in excess due to incomplete combustion, which can produce potentially deadly levels of carbon monoxide, CO, an explosion may result. Point number 3. When there is sufficient oxygen present and CO gas will exist if the combustion is incomplete. Therefore, when energizing the ESP, it being the source of ignition, it can result in an ESP explosion. Point number 4. The risk of ignition and even explosion is especially high in the presence of an explosive mixture of oxygen and hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, extras. If workers at the plant are unaware of this and turn on the ESP, unstable condition will explode and destroy ESP components as a result. Point number 5. In the event of a boiler malfunction that could allow volatile gases or heavy carbon carryover to enter the precipitator. Sparks within the precipitator could ignite volatile gases and carbon carryover, resulting in an explosion or fire that would harm the internal components of the precipitator. Point number 6. When there is a known presence of elevated carbon levels in the hoppers or on the collecting surface, it is advisable to wait to open the precipitator access doors until the temperature drops below 52 degrees Celsius. Spontaneous combustion of the hot dust may be caused by the inrush of air. Next. We will look at the how can lower the chance of an ESP explosion. We will look in detailed discussion AS given below. To prevent the explosions, pay attention to the following points. Point number 1. The operator must be aware of the state of the flue gases going through the ESP. In addition to ensuring that combustion efficiency is maximized, Monitoring the CO and oxygen concentrations in the flue gases leaving the boiler is a smart approach to guarantee safe operating conditions. Next point number 2. An operator should be aware that there is a risk of an ESP explosion if they observe that the CO is rising while the O2 is decreasing. Aside from that, ESP may be turned off during the warming up phase to prevent an ESP explosion. Next, we will look at the how can lower the chance of an ESP explosion. We will look in detailed discussion AS given below. To prevent the explosions, pay attention to the following points. Next point number 3. Keep the furnaces draft adjusted to promote proper combustion and prevent the accumulation of unburned particles. The next point number 4. 
When there is a known presence of elevated carbon levels in the hoppers or on the collecting surface, it is advisable to wait to open the precipitator access doors until the temperature drops below 52 degrees Celsius. Spontaneous combustion of the hot dust may be caused by the inrush of air. Next, point number 5. Avoid charging the ESP at flue gas temperature of less than 125 degrees Celsius. Next point number 6. Avoid the bypass of any of the ESP interlocks. Next, we will look at the how can lower the chance of an ESP explosion. We will look in detailed discussion AS given below. To prevent the explosions, pay attention to the following points. Next point number 7. Empty the impacted hopper if there appears to be a fire in the hoppers. If the hopper cannot be emptied right away, turn off the transformer rectifier units above the hopper until it is. Empty the hopper using no other technique. Never use water or steam to control this type of fire. These agents can release hydrogen, increasing the possibility of explosion. The next, point number 8. Verify that the wrapping system is operating well. This will help prevent combustible particles, accumulating in the collecting and thus charge electrode surface. The next point number 9. The explosion vents at the ESP inlet and outlet cones, and casing are in good condition. Next, we will look at the how can lower the chance of an ESP explosion. We will look in detailed discussion AS given below. To prevent the explosions, pay attention to the following points. Next, point number 10. Immediately turn off all transformer rectifier sets in the event of a boiler malfunction that could allow volatile gases or heavy carbon carryover to enter the precipitator. Sparks within the precipitator could ignite volatile gases and carbon carryover, resulting in an explosion or fire that would harm the internal components of the precipitator. Next, point number 11. Arrest all ESP system and ducting leaks. Next, point number 12. If an ESP is used on a coal-fired boiler, the ESP should not be started until coal firing can be verified. This will help prevent combustible gases from accumulating in the unit and causing explosive conditions. I hope everyone understands why explosions occur in ESP and what are the ESP explosion risk factors and types of the explosion in ESP and how is an explosion of ESP possible, and then how can lower the chance of a NESP explosion, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel for more videos.